Here we're going to start getting into the math. So we need to define two different terms. We need to define what a vector is, and we need to define what a scalar is. And maybe from previous math courses, you know what a vector is, right? A vector co is composed of two things, right? We're given a magnitude and the direction of that magnitude, okay? So we can think of a vector as like an arrow, okay? So uh, for things that are represented by vectors, we have things like forces are represented by vectors because they have a magnitude and direction our acceleration. In addition to that, velocity is also a vector. Okay, so that is vectors. Now moving on to a scalar. A scalar is maybe a term you haven't heard before, but I ensure you that you've, you've dealt with them before. Okay, a scalar does not have a direction. It is just simply a magnitude or a value. Okay, so scalars are things like mass, possibly time, and also the length of something may be represented by a scalar, all right? Because it's just that quantity. You're not saying what direction that length is going. Okay, so that's a wrap-up of vectors and scalars.